elegant, clean lines within buildings, whether it's curved, whether it's straight line, will always hold their time. 80% of our buildings would be put together with concrete and glass. So they're, the two materials carry 80% of the end product of what we do, and they're vitally important on how they come together. When we bring the glass into it, it's to reveal certain spaces and, and viewpoints within, within the architecture. One thing glass does remarkably well too is how it behaves during the day and then during the evening. Uh, what it does when the sun's setting and when the sun's rising. So it's got this ability to reflect at night, to be transparent during the day. Its reflective qualities through ambient lighting is quite stunning. So it has a pliable skin towards it and it's, and it's changing character. So it's not just your clear see-through element. And the glass that we use usually has a tint in it, or most of our buildings will, will be sort of a low E glass with, so it's got a slight reflective element and it's got a depth, so it's got a tint through it. So it does carry a bit of body with it. I mean, sometimes people look at our work and say it's quite brutal. So we think it could be quite delicate in, in another form. Achieving that through what we do is, is a very important um, outcome. For us, it's, it's really um, the purity of it. Plain uh, approach to it is, is bringing it back to the pure form of what we're, what we're trying to present and what we're trying to achieve out of, the, out of our work. So the more pure we can get it, I think the more intentful the, the word there, clarity of idea is, is important that it's difficult sometimes to achieve that. sort of architecture dialogue that we're trying to go for, most times it's fairly difficult to achieve because it's, it's a matter of restraining yourself as an architect and not trying to put too much of a lot of wonderful ideas that you may have within that space of, that just only needs X amount. Seeing, seeing the end product is, is always the most beautiful part. challenge is that hoping that you deliver what they really wanted. The relief of it is delivering over and above what they wanted. They didn't expect it. And once they, once they inhabit the space, then they're like, oh, well, didn't expect this and we really love it. It's not just your clear see-through element, sort of a low E glass. We use these larger sheets of concrete to the front of the property. And as we transcended through the house, we ensured that we used the glazing in a way that allowed you to get the best views into different parts of the home. You'll see that through a lot of our works, it embraces large sheets of glass. By conversing with Viridian, we then understand what's the maximum size we can get from glass thickness to which glass that we want to use, type of color, type of glass that we want to use, and how that can conform to the sheet size that we're trying to achieve. Viridian are great to help in that way. And that's, that plays a very big part in what we do. That can allow where we set up our structural grid, our column location, our sliding doors, and so forth. I think one of the beautiful things about this is to a flat roof concrete structure with large sheets of glass. I feel that that's glorifying the street and the times that we're, we're about to go through.